，我准备好了。森林注视着我们。First off, we have Etheria Restart. I think you all know this game. This game is planned to be released in 2024, and if you don't believe me, you can check out their Steam page. Yeah, you heard me right. It is gonna be on Steam. Not even Honkai Star Rail, man, is on Steam. This game is definitely better from just that. Obviously, I'm joking, but it is published by XD, who made Codename Bakery, and similar to Honkai Star Rail, it is a turn-based gacha RPG with similar mechanics to it. But has a better and more engaging battle system from just the look of it because outside combat you can hide, surprise the enemies similar to Persona 5 while well, I know in Honkai you can also do that but I think not hiding is one thing <laughs> in Honkai Star L but in this game you can hide uh, just similar to Persona 5 so at the start of a battle you can also change your party members which makes a lot of sense in a game like this so you can mix and match what you wanna go for I guess so you can experiment more and without of a hassle like quitting the game and whatnot so I think that's a good thing I'm really trusting XD International because if you don't know already they make good games so fingers crossed that they are gonna nail it in this one Solo leveling arise. Well, it has an early access um, just now, just like a few days ago, and people are actually quite liking this game because it is almost similar to like One Punch Man World. It is impactful, the combat is fast paced. What's not to love about it? Right, we need more PGR style of game, so there you go, solo leveling arise. A pretty fun game if you ask me, but yeah, I didn't get to the early access so I cannot say much or cannot say anything about it, but people are anticipating this game and the pre-registration says it all, man. Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, yeah, one of my favorite franchise. I did a review a few days ago and well the feedback is quite positive so I'm really glad that people are enjoying my review but hopefully I can do better in the in that review but now it's Kingdom Hearts Missing Link uh, there is gonna be another CBT but of course the CBT is gonna be restricted to like Canada Australia and one more I forgot I mean the gameplay doesn't look that bad it is smooth you can use the controller I think it has more support than the Union Cross I think it's gonna have more quality of life than Union Cross and this game is similar to like Pokemon Go if you don't know already this is a GPS based game where you have to walk outside you have to touch some grass to play this game <laughs> no I'm, I'm kidding but yeah this is a GPS based game but if you just want to sit down you know in your bed or laying down in your bed you can do that too, but it will use AP, well, basically energy in a lot of gacha games. Well, if you want to walk and fight some Heartless, then it will not consume your energy or some sort. It's just going to consume your real energy, bro. Do it Night Abyss. I'm actually really surprised that this game just had a CBT test because there was no information about this game yet. And then they just, you know what, here, go and play the CBT, 
try it, try it yourself, have fun with the combat, give us feedback, and enjoy the game. Like, what the hell? I didn't even know that they will have a CBT. Uh, well, uh, I think that's just my my bad. So I didn't get to play it again. Uh, I'm really sad. But people are complimenting this game that it is good. It is, I think, similar to Warframe. So you can basically say it that this is anime Warframe or hentai Warframe. Like I said, people are really enjoying this game. The very responsive combat, the snappiness of the combat. And I would love that Do It Night Abyss gonna give me their keys so I can make content of it. Oh man, this game looks fucking amazing. Arknight's Anvil. This game is also one of the most anticipated gacha game in the market because everyone was begging another gameplay trailer or any information about this game and we actually got it. So we have two information about this game or two trailers. That's it. Well, they already have pre-registrations and a beta gameplay. Usually if they have all of that jazz, this game will probably be out in like a year or two. Gameplay is really smooth from just the trailer and we can fight alongside our team members, that is super good. Animation is great and probably plays more or less like Aether Gazer. Not Genshin, not PGR, but Aether Gazer. I think the open world aspect is also similar to Woodring Waves, not Genshin, because of just the team. Just look at the team, man. It's not fun and vibrant, like the color that they use is really strong to indicate what is what, but this game is really dark. But then again, I love games like this, so cannot wait for this to be released. Hmm. Breakers unlock the world. Well, um, to be honest, I don't know much anything about this game because the information is not there. We only got the trailer from the TGS, I think, or the G Star announcement. And the gameplay looks really, really smooth. It has PGR mechanic to it, if um, if I must say so myself. And the animation, god damn. I, uh, this is a starter character and their animation is this good. I wonder if there's gonna be like a 5 star characters animation and whatnot. Yeah, from just the look of it, it does look very promising and it is made by a Japanese developer. So if you don't already, Japanese developer is more superior in my opinion. Like if you see Blue Protocol, they just make some good games, man. Like PSO, not PSO Genesis, don't, I mean like New Genesis, it's, it's, it's so bad. But PSO2 back then, man, that was, that was the shit right there, bro. I used to play that like 8 hours a day. Seven Nights Rebirth. I mean, I'm not complaining, and I really do want to play Seven Nights again. So basically, this is just a remake or a recreation of Seven Nights, and it is made in Unreal Engine 5 or 4, maybe? Maybe 5. It does look very amazing, right? It does look very amazing. Hopefully, the monetization is fair, and well, I cannot say anything because they only released this trailer and there's not much information about it again so hopefully we got it soon and hopefully this will release globally hopefully Ooh! 
Naruto. Persona 5 The Phantom X. Um, this game has been in my list for a couple of videos because people are really anticipating this game. They are really excited to play Persona and it is online and I know the word live service is a curse nowadays but for us gacha gamers, getting an IP and to add to that, getting our favorite game and making it into a gacha game, we are super excited about it. This game is gonna be released this year in 2024 but unfortunately it is gonna be only in china taiwan i think because but they have announced that they will release this globally and they do have their social media for the global audience so expecting this game to be released in global i mean globally soon excited for this one really do i fucking love persona 5 completed the game yeah 100 hours man in just one run god damn and i haven't finish everything in that game so for the people who haven't tried it try it it's a, it's a really fun game it's a fun turn-based jrpg Lost Ark Mobile, yeah, you heard me right. Lost Ark is going to be released on mobile. Well, I don't think it's going to be like any other gacha games in this list, but I think there is going to be a gacha system in this game. This game looks fun just by the look of it. So if they manage to put this into mobile, then man, I am super excited about this. But the problem with this is that in one dungeon, in one raid, one dungeon, in the original Lost Ark, uh, you will have to spend your time like 10 minutes or maybe 20 minutes but uh, in mobile you don't have that kind of time hopefully they will make a shorter dungeon and a more balanced one even though it is short because if you see pgr and aether gazer you can just hop in and out uh, for like three minute battle i know it's not an mmorpg but that's how mobile game works in a way because in mobile you really want a quick battle but this game is <laughs> looking really really good so hopefully they will end it and Lost Ark will never disappoint with the graphical fidelity even though it is a top-down ARPG. And the last but not the least, it is Project Mugen. Yeah, the most anticipated one because you can swing or travel, traverse like Spider-Man. By just that alone, it is really, really awesome. Not to say that the open world is really big. Hopefully it is big. And hopefully it's not just a hollow open world game where there are no NPCs, no interactions, just fighting mobs. I mean, yeah, not a fun time if you ask me. But Project Mugen looks really promising um, in the last TGS or I think G-Star. They talk about it a little bit from the development side of the game. They say they are excited to bring uh, the traversal in this game because you have cars, you have swinging like Spider-Man, you have motorbike. Like there's a lot in this game. So fingers crossed that they are going to nail it and we will get another information about this game. So we will just have to wait and see. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.